What I'm about to say in this English lesson might make some people angry. And for that, I apologize. But in this English lesson, you will learn three things that I think only native English speakers say. You will learn what passing of the torch means, to be the face of something. And my favorite saying of the three, that didn't age well. In just a few days, Argentina will play France in the World Cup Finals. There will be a champion declared. And I think it will be a game where the torch is passed. And what we mean by passing of the torch is when one thing or one person has been really good at something for a long time, and then somebody else comes along and takes over as the best. And I think that's what's going to happen on Saturday. But before we talk about passing of the torch, I would like to talk about the face of something. And for me, and I think a lot of people around the world, the face of soccer for the last decade, a decade is 10 years, has been Messi. Argentina's Messi. And the face of something means when you think of that thing, the first thing you think of is the face. For example, the face of YouTube might be Mr. Beast. When most people think of YouTube, they might think of Mr. Beast. And I think most people around the world, when you think of soccer, the face of soccer is messy. I mean, it could be Ronaldo, but not as many people from Portugal watch this channel. So for this channel, it will be messy. Well, I think during Sunday's game, we are going to have a passing of the torch. There will be a new face of soccer, and I think that is going to be Francis Mbappe. Have you seen this guy play? Is anybody as fast as that guy on the field? Now, my prediction is that the new face of soccer for the next 10 years will be Mbappe after Sunday's game. And I do have a bold prediction. I predict France will win two to one against Argentina. And I know, I am sorry, all of my Argentinian friends, that probably makes you very upset. I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, I would like to talk about the next saying that I think only native English speakers say, and that is, that didn't age well. If something doesn't age well, it means somebody predicted something. And when you predict something, you say it before it happens. Like I predict France is going to beat Argentina. And if people watch that video or read what you wrote in the future and it didn't come true, well, that didn't age well. For example, if I was in high school, 20 years ago, I was actually in high school about 30 years ago, but I don't want to sound too old. And if 20 years ago, I said, everybody will be driving flying cars by 2022. Well, that wouldn't age well, would it? I don't know anyone who is driving a flying car. Back in 2020, our president, President Trump, you may have heard of him. He said in March, that the virus would disappear by the summer. Well, that statement didn't age well. Obviously, that didn't come true. So if you're watching this video in 2023 or 2024, you can say, Brent, you're an idiot. France didn't win. Argentina did. Well, if Argentina actually does win, well, this video lesson will not age well. So let me know. Who do you think? will win Sunday's game. Please leave it in the comments. And if you like lessons like this where I am talking pretty casually, become a channel member. There are over a hundred lessons like that. And if you're looking for more English, right up there is an English lesson I did about the game of soccer. Yes, it's soccer, not football in American English. Thanks for watching. See you next time.